In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an ocean view. Now by default, the terrain material that goes beyond the lot boundary is usually a grass. Now this isn't going to work if a horizon is supposed to be an ocean. First, we're going to turn off the skyline to get rid of the trees in the background. To do this, go ahead and click Settings, and then select Environment Settings. Go ahead and click on the tab Skyline, and then disable the option Add Skyline. Next, we need to change the terrain material to be a body of water. Now by default, when we go to Settings, Terrain Settings, and we look through the materials, we don't really have something that looks like a body of water. So we're going to have to select a custom material. To do that, I like to click on the Region object, and then go into the Materials. Now by default, we don't see all the materials that are available in the Material Library. So we're actually going to also enable the option Show All Material Categories right here. Now we can see all the materials available in the program. I'm going to click Accessories, and then I'm going to look for Pool Float 3. Now, instead of just adding it here, I'm going to go over here in the Properties panel on the right, and next to the thumbnail of the material, we're going to click this blue arrow, and then select Copy. Now we just copied this material. Now we can go to Settings, Terrain Settings, and then click on this arrow next to the Material thumbnail, and then select Paste. Now if we click OK, we can now see that the terrain material is more like a body of water. Now this isn't going to work with the lot boundary because now the material in the working space is also the body of water. So now we got to create an island around our grid. So I'm going to take the region object and go to plan view or top down view if you're in plus or pro. And then we're just going to create the region around the perimeter of the grid. And then go ahead and change the material to a desired grass material or anything else. Now going back to perspective, we can see that we now have a horizon of ocean. So now it is more like an island. Now we do need to create some sort of visual skyline. There's two methods. You could create a billboard of the property like a skyline and then just place it on the edges of the lot boundary. But in this method, I'm going to use a plant fill and I'm just going to create an area of plant fill. By changing the plants in the plant field, we can fill up the area a little bit with some more native plants. So in this case, I'm going to type in palm. I'm just going to add some queen palm and then increase the max plants. And then I'm going to add another plant variety just to mix it up a little bit. And then this time I'm going to add a royal palm. And then we can add a third plant as well if we want to fill it in a little bit. Now visually, we can fill in the skyline that we just created by taking another plant fill or just copying the one we created. So control C, control shift V to paste in place. And then we're just going to scale it down to fill it in. Now I'm going to change the random seed to change it up a little bit. Now visually, it does look like the ocean is in front of us. For some extra added detail, I do like to go to region. And then I'm going to add a region alongside the edge of the lot boundary closest to the ocean side. And then we're also going to change the material to more like a sand. And then for a little bit more detail, I'm just going to take the sand. Control C, Control Shift V, press the E key in your keyboard, and then bring in the points closest to the waterline. Then we're going to click on the arrow button next to the material thumbnail, and then select Edit Color and Brightness. And I'm going to bring the brightness down just to show a little bit of a wet sand. The more time you put into this, the more you can make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this, but not too much. The more time you put into this, the more you can actually continue creating and giving it that visual space. Thanks for watching, and for more information about our software or for more tutorials, please visit ideaspectrum.com.